What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires. Now before we even start this video I want to say that while I will issue a light spoiler warning that really this video is pretty spoiler free. We're taking this directly from public tweets industry insiders who have direct lines to people who saw one of the early screenings of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness today. Two things to keep in mind before we jump into what they're saying and there's quite a bit especially one secret character that apparently no one has mentioned. Number one, we are still five months off Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, and case in point, the most recent Spider-Man No Way Home, they're still changing cinematography and VFX after the films have been released in the US. So there are still tons of changes to come, reshoots that were just done, stuff that possibly wasn't included that will be in the final screening. However, we're gonna talk about what some of the industry insiders are reporting on, what they're saying now about people who saw it, and again, one mystery character who apparently nobody has reported on, which I kind of find hard to believe because we've literally reported on everyone. We're breaking down the earliest reactions from people who saw Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, or at least an early pre-cut pre-screening, earlier today. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away PlayStation 5s every 20,000 subscribers up to a million, as well as a ton of other announcements coming soon. Plus, we do daily Marvel content at this channel, and that's all we do. Everything from reports like today, industry insider scoops, official Easter egg breakdowns, trailers, reviews, and everything in between. So if that sort of thing's for you, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. That'll automatically enter you for all the giveaways. If you want, stick around to the end of the video. We'll get into that stuff again there. So the normal spoiler warning here at the channel is to take everything that doesn't come directly from Marvel Studios with a grain of salt. However, today they kind of are. This is coming via industry insiders who have direct sources that were at the early pre-screening shown earlier today. And while I reminded you guys in the prologue to remember there are five months before this movie comes out and a lot can change, if this is in any way going to ruin the film for you, you might want to back out now because some of this could be considered light spoilers. This is what she had to say. Hashtag MCU is screening Doctor Strange 2 and I'm hearing very positive feedback from several sources. Lots of major cameos. Hashtag Wanda still the villain and not watered down. She then went on to tweet the current cut is approximately two hours but without credits or end scenes. Tom Cruise is not in it and some other rumored cameos also didn't seem to happen. They just had a reporter DM her about a surprise cameo, so no way it stays a secret until May. She can't believe it stayed a secret until now. She also said that there was a great cliffhanger ending and that everyone at the screening loved the movie. They wanted to see Doctor Strange 3. That must have a relation to what's going on with the cliffhanger. Doctor Strange has more screen time than Wanda, but they are both leads. Now this mystery character that nobody has reported on that she's saying no way it stays secret until May is extremely interesting because especially in the last two weeks, all of the reports for this film, well, you guys have seen them, I'm sure, on Instagram, on YouTube, and the other places you follow this kind of news. Basically, anybody who played a Marvel character at any point in TV or the big screen since they've been making Marvel properties is up for a cameo. Just yesterday, where we're hearing there may be some set photos of Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider that are floating around. My point here is that if there's a cameo, perhaps it's not one of the old characters returning and that's why we've missed the report on this. And whomever this cameo could be, could also easily be a brand new character coming to the MCU on the level of Harry Styles prompting her to say something like, there's no way that this stays secret. It's something people are gonna talk about as soon as they see it. Yes, there have been huge names, crazy names floating around recently, lightly like Justin Timberlake. There are a ton that definitely could drop some jaws and make headlines. However, I'm guessing it's a character of significance because of the significance of this film. And I didn't think they were gonna go hopping around the multiverse without absolute consequences. Look, they wanted to bring the Living Tribunal possibly into Avengers Endgame or Infinity War, considering the scope of that. And that was just contained to our universe. The logic would follow once we get to Multiverse of Madness, there are gonna be some major cosmic entities at play. That's why I think the possibility of a live action Jeffrey Wright, The Watcher, from what we saw in What If. To be honest, we have not seen really any reports of this anywhere. But logically, it follows. Think about it. We're probably going to see the What If Doctor Strange version or Strange Supreme version that he locked in sort of a, a cage forever, which means he might have had something to do with his release. Plus, it seems as though he's responsible for a lot of what's going on when it gets to multiversal levels. 
I'm not sure if they're going to go backwards and reference what happened with Ultron already, or whether or not what happened with Ultron is what prompted this multiversal Illuminati we're going to see in Multiverse of Madness in the first place, in direct reaction to that. But we've also heard the rumor, and it's basically confirmed at this point, that live-action Captain Carter from that same series is going to be in that Illuminati group. So it follows that if those kind of characters are going to follow over, prompt this Illuminati group in reaction to what happened with Ultron, that a live action The Watcher would be involved as well. That would be a cameo that would definitely be worth leaking and a report we haven't seen. But really guys, with the Marvel Universe reaching the levels it has now at this point, literally everyone is on the table. I knew we were going to go deep during this phase because, well, there's a lot of secondary and tertiary characters that are getting shine, which means when you start backing them up with their sidekicks, but man, some of the names I've seen lately, like Rintra, for instance, the Minotaur Sorcerer we're going to see in this upcoming Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, not going to lie, really don't remember him. And I read a lot of comics. So I'm super excited about the idea of brand new characters awesome cameos from people we might have never thought we'd see in the MCU. They're definitely already paving that path with Star Wars. I'm super excited for it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you could have your dream actor get a cameo of significance. I'm not talking about a one-off, a character. I'm talking about a named character. So like a named villain or hero, who would be your choice actor, but for an actual cameo of a named character, something of substance, like a Bill Murray deal? I am all ears. Let me know in the comments quickly. Let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5, and now we're doing it at every 20,000 subscribers all the way up to a million. We're headlong into the next one already. If you want to be entered to win or for any of the future giveaways, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below. And because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of video the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with all notifications turned on, especially nowadays with YouTube's algorithm because who knows what's going on with that. Uh, but if you like today's video, you know, you know, you dug it. If you like my content in general, hit the like button. By the way, if you're listening in the seven minute mark of this video, you probably don't need to be asked this, but my analytics tell me that there are like a ton of you at the channel who have watched hundreds of videos going back two years, but haven't hit the sub button. I don't take it personally. Maybe you don't sub to anybody. Maybe my channel's like your guilty little pleasure you don't want to admit that you sub to. However, I would certainly appreciate it as I push towards a million. If you've watched 100 videos at this point, or you watch my videos every day but haven't hit the sub button, um, help your boy out, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this million subscriber plaque. Uh, it means a lot to me. And uh, so hitting the sub button is not just like, yo, hit the sub button, win a PS5. It's like, yo, hit the sub button. I'm almost there. All right. I love you guys. Take it easy. Stick around. We'll be posting again real soon. Peace.